Strange Letters from a Queen Bug Horse. Letter 26. Left on a Cluttered Desk. Dear Princess Celestia, I had a moment of vertigo today. I was looking at the snow, and I thought, the first snow of the season already? Can the year have passed that by quickly? The last hearth swarming felt like it was only yesterday, and now it's sneaking up again night by night. And I thought faintly, for the common creature, they run out. Eventually, there's a last hearth swarming eve, a last hearts and hoofs day, and a last summer sun celebration. Oh, and also if a creature is wise or lucky, it might be a peaceful happy one. But for the rarefied sort, you and I, what if there isn't? I saw that I think for just a moment, that infinite regression. What's a thousand years? Barely anything, but a thousand thousand? Are we striding forward at a snail's crawl into geological time? Picture yourself, Princess, one day when the continents have shifted, when mountains have fallen and risen, and when even the exceptionally static pony society you prefer has changed so far that if you saw it now, you wouldn't recognize it. I thought of the archaeologists and antiquarians. Will I be able to walk among them one day? In long ages when rivers have changed their courses, and mountains have fallen, and watch them excavate places I once lived? How much will I even remember of these days, when a thousand generations have passed? I might even find myself looking at the ancient ruin of a thing that was once my own royal chamber, and find myself knowing less about it than the mortal scholars specialize in my own history. Of course, in your case, it would be a bit easier. Maintaining a consistent chronology in those endless ages will at least be simple. You'll just have to keep track of how the newly built doorways will get wider over time to let you fit. Yours in overthinking it, Queen Chrysalis. P.S. Do give my laudations to Princess Luna for the success of her little surprise appearance at Ponyville's Nightmare Night festivities. From what I understand, the townsfolk quite enjoyed the shock of Nightmare Moon showing up near the end of the night. Letter 27. Sent via the Daily Post. Twy. I'll thank you for the invite, but I'll have to turn you down. First, the flattery of my costume design skills, I cheated. I'm not going to tell you where, when, or how yet, but you'll find out eventually. For now, you may take it as a given that any contribution I could make with needle and thread would be at best useless, and at worst, at least somewhat hazardous to any pony in the general vicinity. But thank you. Second, it is true that I have a great love for the theater. It is also entirely true that, by all rights, I should be an extraordinary actress. Though I will note that while you are correct, you have made an extraordinary jump to conclusions merely from my extremely talented imitation of your friends in town's ponies. Anecdotes are not data, Twilight, as this contradiction will immediately prove. I get stage fright, Twilight. I've tried. In every context but the theater stage, I prevaricate and imitate and reticulate very neatly. But on the stage, with an audience, I freeze. I will not offer further context but to mention that sometime before the last Summer Sun celebration, I attempted to take part in a Candlelight Theater troupe, and enjoyed a glorious career that, well, ended in an unexpected retirement 30 seconds into the first performance with an audience. Thus, no, I will not take part in your heart-swarming eve pageants, though I will wish it success. I will make an appearance if I can, but I'm more likely than to be extraordinarily busy for some 15 tenths of the day and 12 tenths of the next. You already know my complaints about my excessively large family, and I am a linchpin of more than one business and charitable venture that will be very busy for heartwarming. Lim. P.S. Have you ever considered inviting Kevin? I understand that he quite enjoys that kind of thing. I'm still chuckling a bit to myself about that whole wide door thing. Man, those fat ass jokes never end. Anyways, let's get on to our very fit donators. Top Donators, Dash of Evergreen, Peter Coltard, J Tin Man, Darkseid, and Ponyman. Courier Crucii, Strix, Zar630, Narwhals, Delta Omega, RuneScythe9852, Dospo, Rhiney Dragonwolf, Hunter Norman, Austin Rowland, Secret Moon, Tal Rasha, The Toilet Snake, Sword Brother and Mordred, Cerberus, Gulashing Hazar, Ron and Wandering, Ender I63, Random Person Man Guy, Easy, Starlight Glimmer, Squiddy Boy, David E. Sanchez, Soul Dragon, Gaggy, Trey, Shadow Drake, Joe Piercy, Alex F, Rainbow Dash, Teal'c Anderson, TV Killer, John Becker, Leon Reynolds, Raven Speedster, Zach Rakow, Mr. ECU, Leslie Brickett, Edgar Garcia, One Kingdom One, Nessa Rusan, Vizuri, and Dyslexic Character Sheets. Thank you all very much for watching this video, and live life to the fullest.